Hello and welcome to Ask Lillian. Instead of answering a couple emails today, I am going to talk about an issue that many of you have contacted me about, and that is the issue of a house budget that came out this week. I am very proud of this budget because it really puts families first. Many of you have heard me talk about the importance of addressing the needs of the whole child, and that means addressing the basic needs of all our families. Our house budget does that. We meet our McCleary mandate by funding basic education fully. One of the big investments we make is in our uh, teacher salaries. We take that away from the local level and we meet our state mandate to make sure that all our teachers are adequately compensated. The other area I'm very proud of is our higher education area. We freeze tuition. Higher education rates were skyrocketing. We put a moratorium on that last session. This year we continue that. But we don't just continue it, we backfill those dollars to our higher education institutions. In our budget, we also fund the new Department of Children and Family Services, bringing together a collaborative effort to meet the needs of our children. Instead of having it fragmented throughout different agencies, we bring in juvenile justice, we're gonna bring in mental health, we bring in foster care. Services that our children need, and they're one umbrella so that we don't have all these silos, but we're providing efficient and effective services for our children and families. Another important area of this budget is our investment in mental health. It is not enough to just fund our state hospitals, but when our patients, our residents are released from hospitals, they need community services. They need wraparound services around them, and this budget invests heavily in the community side as well as in the hospital side to make sure that our most vulnerable populations are getting their needs met. That includes uh, our developmentally disabled population, our foster kids, and those with chronic mental health needs. I am very proud that this budget reflects our values of putting families first and protecting our most vulnerable in the state of Washington. I am very excited to introduce my new legislative assistant. He comes from Western Washington University. His name is Israel Rios. Israel, welcome. Thank you. Israel, can you tell them a little bit about what you majored in and why you wanted this position? Yeah, I majored in economics and political science and political science and position go together, I wanted to learn about the process and how we make changes in our state. And I've been following your work for a long time and I saw this opportunity and got excited as um, an opportunity to join you and meet your goals for a better Washington. Thank you. Well, we are very excited to have you part of our team. So when you contact our office, Israel will be your first point of contact. He's also bilingual, so feel free to talk to him in Spanish as well. We look forward to hearing from you and until next time.